All righty, folks. That Rolling Thunder is revving up. We've got a green flag. Let's go. Saturday night, pure stock racing. Keep an eye on that 44 car out there on the back straight over racing alongside Nelson Morrow. He was getting a little wiggle room out there, folks. But it uh, looks like they're trying to line it up straight as Bo Partain is going to be your leader for this first lap, followed by Cody Ashcraft and Heath McEwen running in third currently. I believe Bo's going to be doing double duty here tonight. He's got a pure stock out there, and I believe he's got a sport modified here as well. Bo got snake bit two weeks ago in a sport modified as he was uh, looking prime in position to win the race. He looked like he had some technical difficulties where he was unable to finish the race. Halfway next lap. But Bo Partain not having any issues at all in that 75 C car as he comes across the front straightaway. We're leading yet another lap in this open heat race here this evening. Keep an eye on that zero D car of Heath McEwen. He's got a lot of smoke coming out of it as he's being followed by the 44 S car of Steve Schuacher. Donald Comstock now rounding out the way, trying to enter the fray for the third spot as Bo Partain leads another lap, followed by Cody Ashcraft. Bo Partain's last lap time, just a shade under 20 seconds, 19.985 seconds on that last lap. Cody Ashcraft not that far behind him, but Bo's got about a quarter length of a lead on him here. Bo's one of those guys, he gets out front, he don't look back. Comstock now going to bottle Schumacher for the third place spot out there for the heat race as Alves rounds out the field, coming across the front straightaway. Two to go, Bo Partain is still your leader. And he's pulled ahead quite a distance in front of his competitors here. It's now Schumacher and Comstock are battling out for the third spot. Partain sees the white flag, couple more turns of the steering wheel, he's gonna find himself with a victory here in this opening heat race. Definitely looks like that zero G car of Heath McEwen having some issues there. Was running up front earlier in the lead pack, but now it's fallen back and he's still got that smoke coming up from the rear end. The checkered flag is out. Before I can even finish the sentence, Bo Partain wins the heat race as the rest of the competitors come through. Cody Ashcraft takes second place. Steve Schumacher battling Donald Comstock out. Edges him out for the third spot. Comstock takes fourth. Nelson Morrow in the fifth spot. Heath McEwen finishes sixth, Jennifer Hall seventh, Bud Marshall in eighth, and Julia Alves learning and getting that precious seat time rounds out the field in ninth. All right, let's see if our flag man's gonna be nice to us and let's get our favorite color rocking and rolling here. Green flag is out. Heat race number two featuring the pure stocks underway. Three wide up front to lead it off. Derek Morrow trying to get underneath there to grab an early lead. He's able to do so at the moment. Just a couple of weeks back, it was Morrow versus Morrow as Derek and Dingus were going at it for a win here in the Pure Stock uh, Division. And Morrow leads the way, followed by the 57 car. Justin Taylor, Jack Lacey, the 2JR car, following suit in third. And Justin Taylor currently running fourth. As what seems to be the case in the last race seems to be the one in this one as well as where the lead car is not only getting out front quickly but pulling away from the rest of the field as well. Halfway, next lap. Morrow continues to be your leader. Brandon Schilling trying to hold off Jack Lacey there. Lacey now on the backside, in the back straightaway, trying to go underneath the 57 car. Because that's where the race is at, folks. It's for the second spot as Morrow leads yet another lap. Lacey trying to find himself, fight for that second position here. He's hot on the heels of that 57 car coming out of turn number two in the back straightaway. 
Let's see what Lacey has for him here going into turn number three. See if he can get underneath him. He's going to try it here, folks, and see if he can do it. Lacey able to take the second spot away, now trying to give chase to the lead car of Derek Morrow in that 16 car. White flag, next lap. Two to go, Derek Morrow looking really good out there. He's in excellent shape, just ran a 21.235 lap on his last lap. Not quite as fast as our previous winner, Bo Partain, but we'll see what happens when all these cars get out there later tonight. As Jack Lacey now trying to close the gap on the front car, but we'll see if Jack's got enough time and track to make anything happen as the white flag flies and Derek Morrow is still your leader. Well, we got him turned around over there in turn number four, folks. Most of the car is able to avoid it there. The 57 T car getting turned around, Justin Taylor. All right, a green flag is out. Jack Lacey getting the jump on the gun on Derek Morrow. We'll see if he can't make anything happen there. Is Lacey going to the outside of Morrow, rounding out turn number two to the back straightaway. Now the race is up front here, folks. Whoa, Lacey gets turned around, but he's easily able to save it. He's wiggling wobble, and he's going to keep it moving here, folks. But it cost him greatly. Looks like he's got a rear tire that went out on him as well. Morrow falls back to the third spot. Which car? As now your leader is the 57B car of Brandon Schilling. Checkered flag is out. What a finish here, folks. Brandon Schilling wins the heat race, followed by Kevin Rissocker. Derek Morrow ends up in third place, while Jack Lacey, battling for the lead, is headed out to the pits now. Wow, folks. I'll tell you what, that's going to set up for an exciting main event featuring the Pure Stocks here later this evening.